Oh. Who the hell's this guy? Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another The Venture Bros Adventure. Um, <laughs> the last episode. <laughs> oh, I've literally just finished watching it in real time. Um, it was hilarious. So I'm going to go straight into another one. i see if it can top it. Um, <laughs> I'm excited for it, but let's get into it and start the watch. Oh, I'm getting horror vibes. What is this? This is... Right. This is the thing. It keeps going back to this. Why? Don't tell us. <laughs> but I want to know why. But don't tell us. What does he have nightmares about? Oh. Oh, he killed somebody. Oh, cool. Hopefully this is like a pure horror episode. I love that they've got the Spider-Man and Aquaman pajamas. You were such a massive wuss. Oh, oh, what a shot. Can confirm you are a massive wuss. Oh. Who the hell's this guy? Oh! Okay. H Hello? Oh! What the hell's going on? Hank and I just woke up on the floor. We were playing Ouija and a guy hypnotized us. Dean, I'm going to turn around now, <laughs> and you better be on fire. You're standing there in flames, and the only person <laughs> who can put you out is me. Because that is the only conceivable reason that you would wake me up like this. <laughs> I wouldn't be the one to wake Brock. Morning, Brock. <sighs> oh, shit, I was not wrong. I just wanted to tell you. <laughs> Sneaking up. Helper's broken. Mm, Brock? Yeah. Is it okay if I cry? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dean. He's not a vampire. He's a doctor. So don't scare him away with your nonsense. Oh, so Dr. Venture knows him. But he had a Dracula trophy around his neck and everything. No more Night Stalker reruns for you, mister. They're making you a nervous Nelly. Oh, back in a way, I see Dr. Venture. The flames you see before you are no more than an illusion, or more precisely, a symbol of the flame. Ah, well, that's okay then, I guess. Uh, so what kind of work do you do here, uh, Dr... Orpheus, I am known to <laughs> men as Dr. Orpheus. It's, um, what's his name? Ha Hammer Horror. Oh, I've totally forgotten his name. He did the voice for Scooby-Doo as well. Vincent Van Gool. <laughs> That's who the character looks like. Oh, of course. But this is a lab, right? When I file my taxes, I can call this a lab. I mean, <laughs> you and I have the same definition for laboratory, right? No, sir! He's very dramatic, isn't he? Leave! <laughs> so you see, oh, what the hell? Blamed for his ignorance, but once he knows... Dad, where's the blow dryer? Oh. Gentlemen, this is... Looks like Dean, sorry, Dave, is in love. <laughs> is my daughter. Pumpkin, why don't you see if, um... Dean, his name is Dean. His name is Dave. Dean, <laughs> would like to partake of some of those prepackaged cereals you enjoy so well. Whatever. <laughs> Single parent, eh? Now I think we have some common ground to... Yeah. Oh, what's this? That's a cat. Oh, she's an affectionate little one. Oh, my apologies. She's in heat. Oh, gross. Tip, moisten it with warm water. Oh, I tried that once. It was horrible. I couldn't look at her for a week. <laughs> she was just a walking reminder of our common shame. <laughs> oh, dear God. That's not your wife in some, like, magical animal form. No, oh, no, no. My wife left me for a young necromancer. My pumpkin still holds out hope. <laughs> Is your name Pumpkin? No, it's Triana. Doesn't your dad have a nickname for you? Well, I've heard him call me Dave or Don a few times, but I don't think the nicknames. I love that he calls him Dave. Oh my god, that's hilarious. 
I don't know what the hell the story is in this episode yet, but I mean, we're like halfway through, but I'm still enjoying it. Hey, are you a pirate? What are you talking about? <laughs> because one time, my family was held captive by pirates. Who are ghosts? And you have a Jolly Roger on your blouse, so I thought... Oh, this? No, I was going for an Adam and the Ants kind of retro thing. Did you just say blouse? Blouse. I don't know. <laughs> hey... If I pull this candle down, will it get whacked on my coffee? <laughs> yes. No secret underground layoff for you, Dr. Venture. Bolter, I'll be late for school. Yeah, I saw your lunch pail. It's not a lunch pail. Yeah. All right, then. Lunch box. That's not what I mean. It's, a, it's kind of a purse. Never mind. So how come I never see you at school? I'm kind of home tutored in a box my pop made. <laughs> yeah, these these two, uh, Hank and, and Dave, <laughs> they don't seem to have a, a grasp on the real world at all. And they talk like that from the 60s. <laughs> so is this the first girl he's actually ever seen that it wasn't the scary prostitute lady? Sometimes it gets very hot in the box. My pop made. Wow, that's um, that's screwy. Crap, did I upset you? Penguins have an organ above their eyes that converts seawater into fresh water. <laughs> okay. Hey, Brock! What's this thing? It has an axe at the tip. Oh, that's that machine. Oh, no, don't go in there. So oh, that Dave. Hey, why don't you toss the old pigskin around with your pop? Oh, my okey God, dokey. what's happening? Oh, no. Don't go in there, Brock! Don't do it! Oh, crap. So what the hell is this machine, then? So he killed this kid. Oh, ninja. Lock all the ninjas. So he killed this kid because of why? I'm lost. Hopefully we'll find out in this episode. Right, let's, let's resume the murder. <laughs> Let us close your door on the spirit world forever! Forever! This guy is overly dramatic. Christ, no wonder his wife left him. Tis done! No, see, I told you it was unlocked. <laughs> I'm so very frightened. What do you think that caveman will do to us? Shh. Hush, my pet. I rigged it. <laughs> now just relax, Triana. And let your prom king take care of you. Oh, always oh, oh. Yep, he's making out with his hand. Still not the weirdest thing I've seen in this show. <laughs> a cowboy with a, a with a flamethrower riding a T-Rex. I stand corrected. That is the weirdest thing I've seen in this show. <laughs> you cannot make this shit up. Well, I mean, clearly you can because they did. Hank, what the hell are you doing sleeping on the floor? You know damn well you aren't supposed to be in here. But, Dad, Brock is... No buts, mister. You have to be firm. Give them an inch, and they think they're a ruler. This is the thing with the, with um, the dad. He just doesn't listen to a word they say ever, does he? <laughs> he's just he's the boss. There's nothing you can say or do that's going to change that. He's not interested. <laughs> listen to your children. Oh God, I'm the best parent. <laughs> uh, this is important. Hank, stop acting up for company. I can assure you, Dr. Orpheus is not impressed with your sass mouth. Dad, that's the Dracula guy you like! <laughs> oh, there she is. She's back. Hi! Wake up! You've been hypnotized by that magic man. No, I just got up too fast. I told head rush. Plus, that guy's not even a Dracula. He's a necromancer. Dean, that's great, and I can't wait to hear all about her. Only Brock's stuck in Dad's thing that makes people happy. But it's all evil. I dare you to make less sense. I was on the floor and I heard everything. And I have a plan. What the heck are you talking about? Now, if he had to just listen to his son, there would be no need for a plan and this episode would be over already. <laughs> Damn it, Dean. Work with me on this. I'm trying to... Whoa. Oh, so too fast again. I'm ready, Brock Sampson. I'm ready to go all the way. No way. But promise me one thing. Anything. Promise me you won't be gentle. <laughs> I'm not even done with it. Hey, okay. Come on, 
think about it. That beauty was made for Hanky Panky. <laughs> Who? The lonely kind of Hanky Panky. The kind where you don't need someone busting in going, Hey, Rusty, I just need to get my hairbrush. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, right. No, I get it. So it's a sex chamber. So why all the ninjas? But I suppose, for, again, for no, for, <laughs> for Brock, that's full play, isn't it? I just don't get how they can get the door open. Well, I'm out of ideas here, so if you want to go and try your mumbo-jumbo, go ahead. If you don't get any, I told you so, as if it works. Stand back, good sir! Stand back, good sir! This guy is so overly dramatic. It kind of reminds us of an even more over-the-top clay face from the Harley Quinn show. Uh, also, reactions, are, I've done them too. If you haven't seen them, I'll put a link somewhere. Um, he, he's, it's as if Nicolas Cage was just told, right, Nicolas, these are, these are the lines. You do you. And then it's just like, Hello! <laughs> So, I have an idea that just might do the yep, trick. okay, yep. I was wondering, is this Brock making love or fighting? But, yeah, that Molotov lady's getting it good. <laughs> here, we have to get this soaking wet. What's going on over here? Mr. Venture trapped your little friend Dean and the rest of his family in his horrid Poor invention. Dave. I did not. Who? You remember Dean? Dave? Sweetie? You know Dave? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, that's gross. There we are. That was easy. Go Team Venture! Yes, go Team Venture! Oh, for God's sake, don't encourage them. <laughs> now that your family is safe, let's send this machine back to hell. So how did he get out of it? That's what I want to know. I don't understand. He, he walked out of it. This baby's gonna make me a mint. Are you mad? It draws its power from a haunted orphan heart. All right, keep it down. So, I guess I'll be seeing you around the compound? Around the compound? What are you, David Koresh? No, I'm Dean. Dean <laughs> Venture. Dave yeah. Venture. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. Dean, what the hell are you doing in there? I need to take a shower. I'm practicing being a boyfriend, Pop. Never mind, Dean. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Good soup. Right. Um, <clears throat> this episode, I, I don't even understand what the hell it was about. Um, like that guy came out of the the machine like it was nothing, and then somehow they got trapped. I mean, am I missing something? Um, it was a good episode. Don't get us wrong; it was fun. Um, it pales in comparison to the previous episode, though. Definitely. <laughs> um, still, it's still enjoyable. Um. You're getting a bit more information about the boys, really, because, like, the Dracula dude, he calls his daughter Pumpkin, because that's a nickname, and as you do, you give your kids nicknames and stuff like that. Um, I call my my youngest Chicken. Uh, <laughs> but, like, the, he didn't understand that. He thought, um, Dave thought that that was her name. So, I mean, he's obviously... Dr. Venture is obviously not the greatest of parents. Um, so, yeah, I think we're getting, obviously, little... Drip-fed little bits of information. Um, I'm glad we got M M Molotov um, back. Because I do like that character. I want to see more of her. Um, and I like that the Dracula character was so overly dramatic. Hello! And stuff like that. Like, I love that. It kind of reminds us of, like I said, um, um, Clayface in the Harley Quinn show. Um, <laughs> so that was fun. Um, I really did, like I said, I really did enjoy the episode. But uh, the previous episode, the Bris, Bris, Brisby Land, Brisney Land, um, that, was, that was brilliant. Um, so I'm excited to see what comes next, but I did enjoy this episode and I'm excited for more. So if you're new here, please do consider dropping a like and subscribing. That would be really helpful. And as ever, please do drop comments. Let's have a conversation. I enjoy replying to your comments. Um, and I'll see you all very soon for more The Venture Bros Reaction videos.